Hey guys, Blue Bomb, we're back. I'm Aaron. Eric. And we're back with Watchmen. Last Ugh. time on Watchmen, we learned everything, everything and nothing. And nothing. Yeah. Elephants. It's kind of where the Manhattan's show's been. Manhattan's there. There's we a, don't know where looking glasses. Round thing in the head. Eggs. Or the elephant chilling. There's, yeah. There's a young mother. The young mother. What's the castle mean? Adrian is, yeah, he got yeah. outvoted by the piggies. Mm hmm. I mean, Judd, what do we not know about Judd and the 7th Cavalry and the one guy's trying to become a blue guy? Trap door in a living room. Yeah, he's like, it's hard to be white, so I'm going to be blue. Yeah. When are we? Vietnam? Now where? When? Oh. Does he put on the mask so that he can blend in? <laughs> oh my god. Why did he come here? Why is he here? To talk to a bar. Why? Why does he care about anything? Did he right just now? take those or did he pay? He's God. He can do what he wants. Having a conversation with you and on your robot, creating life. Creating life. Yeah. The fetuses. Now does one create life? That's why it looks like John Ostrander and his former and Janie. Ah, uh, look. I give them higher brain function, instantaneous speech, self awareness. They're all just naked, walking around. Bring them a place in which to live. The castle? A manor house. A manor house. Yes. Wow. You brought them a manor house. But whatever these two are doing to one another. Is that Phillips and Crookshanks? Or it is maybe. overwhelmingly joyful. Yep, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there goes my theory about them looking like John and Janie. I love you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? We just met. Actually, you've come up with a rather elegant solution to the problem of my appearance. Have I? Yes. You're explaining it to me right now. Oh, uh, sure. Actually, for you. <clears throat> oh, do we find someone who died and they... They take their identity. Like, was there really a Cal, then, whatever? Cal out. Michael DeClan. I don't care either. Then you should have no problem choosing one of these men. Unless, for some reason, you have yet to present all of the options. <laughs> he knows. Of course, because he knows what she chooses. You forgot your thing? I'm going to forget so much more. Conversation for another time. It gave you a sense of safety and stability that you never had growing up in the orphanage. Uh-uh. Was your childhood not filled with the constant fear that you Leave, never get had out a family Don't you dare. because yours was taken away from you? Stop! <clears throat> We're in the fight now. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we fucking are. <laughs> what do you know about fear? When was the last time you were even afraid? It's 1959. Oh. I'm in Hill of Flats, New Mexico. I left my watch inside the I feel fear field. for the last time. And now, I'm locked inside, fully aware that when the countdown ends, my skin will burn off of my body. Oh, that's my favorite part. Is, is that like the exact quote? Yeah. I feel fear for the last time. I'm trying to change it so hard. Like, I'm not telling you leave. Yeah, but we'll fight. I'll be stubborn. <laughs> oh, Where'd shit. Go? Where'd he go? The snow? Oh, is this up here? Is this Adrian's place? So, you don't just want to look like a mortal. You want to be one. Will you help me? Hmm. What? Does he give him that Why little you metal thing? <clears throat> you tell me, Adrian. And how long would it take for you to make this device? Oh, my dear sweet John. I made it 30 years ago. Hmm. Huh? As you reminded me earlier, John, I did try to destroy you. Do you know what is inside this? Actually, I don't. Huh. Oh, because wow. I irradiated it with tachyon particles. One small part of the universe even you can't see. A blind spot. Crazy, okay. This is that Alexander the Great back there? Probably. Is plan A. So if you have any business to finish, now would be the time to finish it. Angela has a grandfather that she's not yet aware of. <laughs> oh, shit. 
He and I have matters to discuss. Ooh. Well, let's discuss them now. I just push it into your head? Yes. I'll make myself intangible. Be sure to withdraw your hand very quickly. <laughs> don't get stuck in there. How do you know it's gonna work? I don't. It's exciting though, huh? That's what makes it a risk. It's, it's the kill. first time he doesn't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna happen. forget how to speak. <clears throat> Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's where your family's from. Who told you that? You did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. You will. Six months from now, when I give you the ring. Ring. The yeah. ring that he now already we're sees. Engaged? In a manner of speaking. Jesus, this is crazy. But this is. I love you. I love you too. Get your hand out quickly. <sighs> Pulling it out. Oh. We're in fucking trouble. Hey, you gotta show it. You gotta show it. I don't know where I see it. Yeah, we gotta show it. You gotta show it. John. Oh, fuck. I'm experiencing confusion as a result of the device being removed and I'm not entirely sure when I am. Would you excuse me for a moment, please? It's gone. <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh, no, is she gonna be all alone? He looks like cat. That's because he is. Oh. What? 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 What happened? Where'd they go? What the fuck? They're with your grandfather. What? With Will. They're at the Dreamland Theater in downtown Tulsa right now. What? It's all right. Your grandfather was expecting them. When did you talk to my grandfather? Years ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. I'm standing in Karnak. I know because I'm talking to her right now. You're talking with him right now? <laughs> Relatively, yes. <laughs> For you, it's right now, but for him, it's 10 years ago. That's right. You're talking to her right now. Aw, this is Relative. so cool. Yes. Can you ask him something? Whoa. Ask him. Ask him how did he know there was a fucking clan roving right in now. his closet? Right now, uh-huh. She wants to know how you knew Judd Crawford was a member of... Oh, Fox. no, it's a loop. And how you knew he had a clan robe hidden in his closet. Who's Judd Crawford? Oh, fuck! He doesn't know who Judd Crawford is. He it's does not know. related but to Tulsa not. stuff. This is how he finds out. Did I start all this? Dude! Oh my god! Did I send my grandfather here? Is this my fault? I only asked the old man about Crawford because he murdered him. The chicken or the egg. Oh, fuck! <laughs> A what? circle has no beginning. The paradox. I'm hungry. Motherfucker! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Look at him. What the hell are you doing? Making waffles. They're in a truck parked across the street. On the back of the truck is a tachyonic cannon, which they will use to involuntarily teleport me and then destroy me. Hmm. They will destroy you? Hmm. They want to kill you. Yes. So then let's fucking stop them. We can't. He said they're going to destroy me. Why not? We can't stop them. There's nothing we can do. There's something I can do. This is the moment. Evil the moment. tragedy? No. I just told you that you can't save me. Oh. Anyway. This is the moment you fall in love. You, met, you asked me about the moment I fell in love with you. Because Janie left him when he was going to be destroyed. And she's going to fight for him. Is that supposed to be romantic? Sorry? All this time we've been together and you fall in love with me now. <laughs> no, I've always been in love with you. Oh, I My just didn't know why. Yeah, I get it. Hey. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Shit. This is the moment. This is a tragedy. He's gonna come in to save her. They're gonna take him and leave probably, right? Fuck.
I wasn't. What? I'm sorry. cigarettes and never came back. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> He's the first one? The very first to emerge from the water. Yeah. This is way more than an end of credit scene. What? What? The, the horseshoe. The horseshoe. They keep me on the horseshoe. Yeah, but what? what does the horseshoe mean? I've never seen someone more happy. <laughs> I guess he's just to dig it out, I guess. But they've been doing the horseshoe for the every yeah. cake. Why though? Ah! Uh, uh, holy shit! Hmm. That last end of credit scene is. I mean, it, it's it. The episode was amazing without it, you know. But that was like, okay, well, we'll see what happens next. But the Doctor Manhattan shit. Holy crap! What a! I bet you that was so much fun to write. Yeah. I mean, it, it's. It's weird going through the whole idea of like he's living in time now. Yeah. Like when in time, all of it. Yeah. And uh, anywhere through time you want him to live in, that's where he's living. And being able to crescendo to the point where Angela has a conversation with Will from ten years ago, which starts uh, his final crusade. Well, the idea of like where does it start, right? Yeah. That whole there, thing. The, there is no answer. Angela, like, did I start this? Yeah. Like. The chicken or the egg. A circle has no beginning. There is no start there. It's a bootstrap. And you know, the weird thing, though, too, is like when looking at his memories, that wasn't one of them talking to John. Yeah. You know? Like, it skipped from uh, Hooded Justice stuff and the projector and all that to Judd and the tree. Like, yeah. you, you didn't see why no. he went to where he went. No. And, and the loop happens. Inside the loop, there's nothing. There's the dark spot where he can't see, you know? Yeah, John. Like, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know what happens in that segment. Like, what yeah. he does, because he can't see what he does. I mean, I mean, I in, the, in the original comic, like, he can't see... Like, he can't see the future from a certain point on. They ask why, and he's like, well, probably because of nuclear fallout. <laughs> you know? Like, it's inevitable it's going to happen, is what yeah. pretty much what he was saying. But it was because they were blocking him with tachyons, Adrian was. And here, it's he can't see that because he chooses not to be Dr. Manhattan... But it's also the, it's tachyons. also both ends of the of the time loop as well. Yeah, well, he's used tachyons too to radiate that thing yeah. to be able to remove his memory. Yeah, but like the whole episode, I'm thinking like, okay, but why Angela? Why? And we get to see the moment. This is the moment. The moment that he falls the last in love. thing I that like she the does that he for falls him, in love. and the moment she falls in love. And I love that it's <laughs> it's a clear definition. When's the last time you felt fear? It's whenever Janie left me, and I knew I was going to die alone. You know, that's the last moment I felt fear. And here, and uh, Angela didn't leave him. She fought for him. It's like there in the in the the radio uh, in the chamber. Was, yeah, the thing that he was in, in. the intrinsic field uh, generator. She was like, I can't watch. Yeah, she's like, Jenny, don't leave me. And she's like, No, I can't. I can't watch this. And she leaves. And like, and that is the last moment I feel fear. And Angela fucking fought for him and didn't leave him. That's what yeah, made, it's that's pretty what good. Made, that's what made it, him fall in love and why he came back in the first place. I feel like it does pretty well for the character. Yeah. You know? It, like, you could have situations where it's like, well, I mean, what are we going to do? Bring back Dr. Manhattan. Okay, and then what? And then he's going to do some cool shit. And yeah. Does it add anything to his character? It's like, no, not really. Or do they destroy his character, you know? Mm -hmm. Or any of that kind of stuff. But yeah. I feel like it does pretty well in, in the sense of, like, the way it's written of, like, yeah. you know, when you have that conversation now, relatively, you know, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. What I don't know. 
And why yeah. it answers the question of like, well, why and when does all this like stuff happen and start? And it doesn't. Yeah. And the way the edit happens too, where like, you know, in six months we're gonna have a fight, and then you jump to those six months, and you keep coming back to the yeah. bar and having the conversation. Coming back to the bar you is know? the best part. You start with him coming to the bar, and you end with them leaving the bar and her accepting dinner. You know, like that. That's like the story. You're being told all this stuff, but we get to jump in and see yeah. the middle parts and stuff, or the after parts. A god right? walks yeah. into a bar. It's all a joke. That's no, a great title. <laughs> it was. But yeah, you were saying about the joke. There was a story that he, she was talking about a little girl with a brick. Yeah. And she, and she threw, threw a brick up. up in the and air. And she forgot. And then it was the heaven. And then the brick shows up in heaven. Yeah. And then you had her I thought telling, it was a bar, but that's a yeah, common joke. Though. The heaven one, they were, yeah, it's just a very common joke. I'm going to say, that would have been some shit. <laughs> like, a god walks into a bar would have been that joke. <laughs> yeah, she told a joke about a bar. Yeah. I mean, maybe... She could have maybe referenced something in before she told that joke, but yeah. the joke she told, I remember, was different. Fuck. Dude, what was with the line... I like him going to see Adrian. Adrian's like, they're still doing this shit, and I tried to stop them, and they're making bombs. Why do they need bombs? Yeah. But, but he's like, you know, you've been on Europa. Like, how'd you know that? He's like, a little elephant told me. And I was like, well, that's a weird line to use. Like, typically the phrase is like, a little bird told me. But one, who told him? Two, why do you say elephant? Isn't there a lot of elephant stuff in the young girls who's a clone's room? Didn't we say something about that? There's a lot of elephant stuff there. So maybe he's talking about Lady True. Lady True told me you were not there. Maybe. Where, where'd she come from? Who's her dad? Remember that? Wait, no. He's got eight million children. What's that mean? He said, I got eight million children standing up, about ready to stand up. He's standing in cribs. Standing in cribs. Where he, where he Does standing? he literally have eight million children? I, I thought he one just meant... Like, people in the U.S. that he had to protect or something. I don't know. That's a hell of an assumption. I mean, I don't know either. <laughs> You're assuming he has 8 million children running around the, city, the, the world? I don't know. He's Adrian Vey. can do anything he wants. I can't assume he's just talking about his country. You he assume just, he has kids? Yeah, man. I don't know. He, man, you know how hard it would be to have 8 million children? Do you know how hard it is hard to is live on the moon of Europa no, it's not with hard. a bunch of clones? It's, it's easy. I mean, he, he had it made for him. Not How many years has it been? What was the final count? Seven? I think seven years. Seven. He was like, I'm fucking done with this play. He, he was trying to escape, like, immediately, it felt like. Well, yeah. What's with the horseshoe? It's got to just be a way to take it. I don't know how. Enjoy your fucking cake. Enjoy your fucking cake. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? I don't I mean, know. When it shows a close-up here in just a second. One, yeah, two, one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, right? Yeah, three, seven candles. Three, seven. But so, yeah, so it the was last nine one and a half had... years since he was teleported, right? Because that was six months after they met in Vietnam. I don't know. The, I mean, it was the anniversary. And the last one he had was four. And he said four years of this. So this has been seven years. So he, it, if we're going with the years are the same, and that's some kind of weird, well, we're going to go with Europa having weird years. Okay. If we're going with that, then this is... We're seeing bits of what he's been doing for these 10 years. Yeah. So we still have three years left. Does it take yeah. him three years to escape prison? I don't know. With a horseshoe? Maybe. You, you know, like that's what they're going with? Maybe. Yeah, it's like kind of Monte Cristo. Maybe. But how does he... <gasps> 15 years. Who's the satellite? Who comes to save him? I was going in the direction. Lady True maybe comes and yeah. saves him? Yeah. Like, I don't know whose satellite that is. Huh. Were yeah. you, were you saw the, the rare there? Was no, it? the the priest and he's played by Richard Harris, the first Dumbledore, and he, he like you know Edmund Dantes is in this prison. He's and the priest's head comes out like oh oh my calculations are correct. I've been digging in the wrong direction, <laughs> and he's been digging the wrong way. He's he had a 50 chance of like escaping or ending up here, and it took him 15 years to do either one of them, and he went the wrong way. <laughs> So he had to take 15 years the other way. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years for him to escape? Yeah. It was, it was something like that. I don't know if I'm right on the time, but it was like, it was, it was a five in there. So how do you feel if they end up going with what John said and they destroy him? Um, Like, does that seem good, bad? Like, if they made a I, season two and there's no more Dr. Manhattan around? I, I don't, yeah, but he could say they've destroyed me. And it's tragically, and she just felt it's tragedy there. That doesn't mean he's done. This be, that means I've been destroyed. But the first thing he learned after being destroyed, but but if they take his power, which is what they're trying to do, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I don't know where it ends up and all that stuff. I, I'll 
if I need to judge it, I'll judge it next episode because I think next is the last one, right? Yeah. Then I can talk about it then. But right now, I'm just so damn excited. It's not like, hey, this is ruining the continuity of Watchmen because I don't know what happens after Watchmen, you know? So I'm, if this is the end of Dr. Manhattan, I'm fine with it, honestly. Like, could it be the end of Dr. Manhattan? Or is it one of those things where he says it, but, you know, he didn't tell you everything because, sure, they destroy him, but he gets destroyed and he comes back, yeah. you know, or something like sure. that. Puts himself back together. Like, the world's or, smartest man is no more a threat to me. Than does he pass man. on and do you get a an evil Dr. Manhattan and someone for him to combat or something. But then could that be the end of the world? Could the know. world be destroyed? I don't know. No, I don't know. I have I have no clue. I'm just so excited to see what happens. Um, fucking, yeah. You could do something like that. Have a bad Dr. Manhattan. He's red. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right, man. I mean, I, like, I have a lot written I, down. Yeah. But. I like what they did with the Calvin stuff and... You know, making Dr. Manhattan him, the look. Like, they never showed his face until after he turned into Calvin. And then after she broke him back into being Dr. Manhattan, he was still holding on to that face. Which yeah. is like, okay, I'm not going to be like, oh, that's dumb. It's, yeah. fu it's fine, I think. Yeah. He, he was he was Dr. Manhattan <laughs> yeah. in that exactly. uh, look for yeah. a while anyway. Now he's mm -hmm. just blue. Yeah, I'm completely utterly fine with that. I even liked Adrian, like, calling him out. It's like, you know, in this day and age, that's cultural appropriation you know <laughs> that was just like a funny way of addressing what people some people will probably call it at the show out for you know just to hang a lantern on it you know it's funny dr man that's the thing dr manhattan would not care what race he was yeah. you know it wouldn't be important to him is that what he was he referring to like you know you're now you're a black man you're, yeah he's you're referring a white guy. He's like, yeah he's referring to like a blackface kind yeah, of yeah he's saying like what's this he said this was two, this is 2009 you can't do that now people get mad whenever like white people have dreadlocks you know yeah because it's cultural appropriation you know and this is saying that John is, Ostrander a white man has now taken the, the visage of a black man so yeah. it's technically blackface is it a thing too of like changing or now you've changed Dr. Manhattan into a black guy he's supposed yeah. to be a white guy or it might also be addressing like that like Hermione too. and yeah. the Harry Potter play yeah. or whatever it was I liked what uh, I also like what John said too whenever they're talking about like you know I don't want to get in a relationship that's going to end in tragedy and he's like well isn't by definition every, that how every relationship ends you know? there was a couple moments in this show in this episode specifically I was like oh motherfucker he's right yeah Every relationship I have that I love right now will end in tragedy. Well, yeah, either either, with me either you're, you're you know there, there's something happens and you split up, which you know people have left because like kids have died and then yeah. they split, you know, or they fell apart or something, yeah. or someone cheated or someone died, you know, something terrible happened. I mean, somewhere. I suppose and that's I've, why relationship ends. Yeah, I, I'm suppose I've had <clears throat> relationships that you just kind of drift apart and it's not tragic. Like just like friends that I had in high school that I just had this. It went longer and longer between talking to him. And I said, and that's not necessarily tragic, but it's not happy. It's not like we start it. We start a relationship because it's always going to be there, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that one gave me pause, as did the one. Like, I feel like they addressed a lot of the Manhattan, like, well, why would he do this if he knows this? And he had that line, like, uh, haven't you, have, done anything haven't you, you ever done you anything you knew you were going to regret? That was fucking really, that put, put pause to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I was probably still do that shit if I had that power. You know, it, it, it gives you the idea of uh, free will versus determinism. Like uh, Manhattan, obviously, is a determinist uh, as opposed to free will. I mean, you see movies or whatever. I mean, people are like, ah, "No, I'm gonna regret this." And they, you know, they go yeah, and they do exactly. whatever the action is and stuff. So yeah, yeah, it's you know, maybe he thought that. Well, yeah, I regret what I did, but mm -hmm. it's just I wanted to. And I like, I, I really like the idea though of like. Their argument about taking risks, yeah. you know, and he can't because he can see what everything's happening. Yeah. And then you get to that point where you have this ring thing, and he's like, it's a risk, you know? It's like, well, what's going to happen? He's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I can't see for, like, the next 10 years. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, like watching the show, I, I feel like I almost got to apologize to it. Because when they came out with the idea that they're going to do a Watchmen show on HBO, Damon Lindelof and all that stuff... I was like, oh, cool. But I wasn't excited, necessarily, because I didn't think, well, they're never going to be as good as the comic. It's just never going to happen. It's going to be this, so it's either going to be pretty good or bad, and we'll forget about it, you know? it's kind Honestly, that's kind of how I felt. Um, so I didn't, like, push to do it live or anything, you know? Mm -hmm. And now watching it now, I'm like, holy shit. I mean, is it as good as the comic? N no. I mean, the comic is different, though. I mean, yeah. the characters and stuff there. But I think it's way better than it has any right to be, <laughs> honestly. No, I, mean, I think it's really good. And, and, like, I think it also 
with like the movie and stuff that it had yeah. like I think it plays well off of that even though there's lots of continuity things that are different because sure. of how the, the, the novel went and stuff, stuff yeah. but like I remember like when we watched that being like Jesus this is yeah. crazy and like the way that they play Dr. Manhattan in that is similar mm-hmm. to how he's played here and I yeah I, I, being just watching the movie yeah I don't feel like I'm like these characters are so no I mean like either, you know honestly I mean, with the movie there wouldn't be people being so happy about and having celebrations of Dr. Manhattan no you know? no that's the only difference yeah, but I mean I, looking at like well there's no fucking squids in the movie yeah. you know Dr. Manhattan wasn't like the big bad guy yeah. it was the squid monster like yeah. the few things like that at the end mm-hmm. there's really the only Big but it's not too as long difficult. As, I, to as long as I'm like, okay, so this didn't happen, this happened instead, I can go on with that. Now, I do have to say, the guy that plays John Ostrander, I love his voice in the movie. Like, I love it. This is this one took me a little bit to get used to before I started hearing Dr. Manhattan in my head. Yeah. Because just the way, the delivery of the actor in the movie, I think, is superior. But it obviously works here because, I mean, it was just Cal's voice actor yeah well once they change it into him it's like okay well that's how that is you know so which i'm fine with that because that's just the nature of the show when i transformed my throat loosened up or whatever do you want me to take it back no there's lots of things they did too with earlier on for the first time i wish i would have thought about like whenever they were discussing they discussed before like oh why couldn't he look like a normal guy he's blue you know and they went through that whole thing it's like trying to think like well who could be dr manhattan who yeah. would he be like he wouldn't be red scare or looking glass or one of those guys he's not gonna be judd you know yeah like, they said that early like you know he can't be a person yeah and i was like why did they say that why couldn't he be yeah it was kind of like what they said about uh you know uh hooded justice and stuff they kept like, kind of hanging a lot yeah. of lanterns and stuff and then i just kind of forgot about it until the moment they're all like he's in arizona i was like motherfucker that was cow who said it yeah, and his thing about, like, there is no <laughs> There is no heaven, no, no, you know, no, no, no. and no this and that, and when, you know, before you were here, there's nothing, and when you're dead, there'll be nothing. Because he said, like, you'll still be me, you just won't remember that you you are, wherever that means. Yes, yeah. which, it really kind of fit pretty well, like, his memories of who he was wasn't there, but mm-hmm. he was still who he was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And Angela knew this whole time. All right, that's all about. Like, yeah. Do you got anything else? Um, I liked see, the the visuals they had of creating the Europa like. Of course, yeah. Place that was, was done really well. Um, it's just a lot of a lot of the cinematography stuff they have with everything. Yeah. I wonder what the whole pool thing was about. Like him walking on water and stuff that was established before, and there's like, you need to see this for later. And I was like, well, what does she need to see that he walks on water for for later? You know. Like, how does that relate? So I'm curious on where that's going to come back for. Is that going to come back for beating a villain thing? Is that going to come back to actually saving him so he doesn't get destroyed? Like, you know, where does that come back around? Yeah. Because so far, like, everything that's been said usually has some kind of meaning. From the little boy watching that movie in the very beginning, not just being a little boy. You know, that could have just been Uh a boy watching a movie and then shit happens and he runs. But that had meaning between, like, what he saw and why he became a... A vigilante yeah. and wanting to trust in the law to also being like I, mean, I used to watch movies and now that's been corrupted and you know they have us turning on mm-hmm. each other and stuff like I'm just wondering like why the water yeah you need I, this for the later. only thing I can think of is you need this for later is to prove that I mean to prove that whoever gets the power has the power because they're walking on water is the only thing I can think of why you would do maybe. that I don't know maybe but that requires him to be dead and gone I don't know I don't know, but I'm very excited to see what's going to be coming. I'm we excited to see how they end it. more episode. One more. To figure out, I don't know, if are they going to be able to tie up all the things to make sense? I still don't understand Judd too much. Yeah, I know. I mean, I guess I do, but... Would another I mean, watch through... I guess it's just tragic. Would another watch through mean so much more? Or I'm sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, going yeah. through and seeing, like, oh my gosh, look at this. The cow scenes and stuff. Was Angela and Cow banging in a closet? They were in the closet yeah, they were having sex. In the closet, yeah. And the first time he saw sex, he was in a closet. Yeah. Like, it's got to mean something, right? Well, maybe what does that was, mean about Judd? It was like hiding from the kid. What? It's got to mean something about Judd, right? Well, he had his uh, clan, clan in thing closet. in the closet. Yeah. So you think he banged And who Justice was in the closet. And that elephant's kind of like in a closet. Is how we're going to end every video? What? Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Watchmen with us. Uh, we got one more. One more to check out, and if you're super excited to check it out, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Watch the reaction right now. Are we right? Are we wrong? You probably know. You've already seen this shit. <laughs>